So who here has a bank account? All right. How about a credit card? What have these two things enabled you to do? You may have used your bank account to save money over time to pay for your child's education. You may have used your credit card to help finance your car. You may have even leveraged your credit history to help secure a mortgage to purchase your own home. I'm going to ask you now to imagine your world without access to savings or credit. This is the reality for over two billion people across the planet. Over two billion people may invest in livestock or store their cash under a mattress because they don't have a formal bank account to deposit it into. Most can only buy what they can afford that day using cash in hand, because they don't have a credit card that enables them to pay later. Much of this unbanked population lives in poverty, not just because their income is small, but because they lack access to modern financial services, which can effectively bridge the gap between their short-term income and their long-term needs. I believe we can start changing this reality. And effectively tackle poverty at a global scale. For the billions living in developing regions across the world, where the quantity of dollars is hard to come by, access to savings and credit will help multiply the power of every dollar earned. Let me tell you how. So this is a kerosene lantern. If you live off-grid in rural East Africa, you cannot simply flip a switch for light at night. As the sun sets, you must strike a match to light your kerosene lantern. You are burning jet fuel, and you're struggling to see from the dim light of that lantern as you cough from the toxic fumes. Besides contributing to the millions of deaths each year caused by indoor air pollution, kerosene is also extremely expensive. You earn about $20 per week. You may burn $2 of that just to buy kerosene. This could be up to 10 percent of your income spent on dim, dirty, or toxic light. Your neighbor owns a solar light. At night, her home is bright and the air is clean. Her children can study together every night under this light before it's time for bed. What's more is she doesn't have to pay for this light because she already paid it off months ago. Her home is now powered for free. By the sun, products like this could mean the end of energy poverty for every kerosene-dependent household. Yet, with over a billion people living off-grid, why do so few have these products in their homes? Well, there's a barrier to accessing these products: the barrier of upfront cost. A typical off-grid family may simply never have enough cash in hand at one time to be able to buy a solar product outright. If you don't have a bank account or any way to save money, and you earn only $20 per week, then $100 for a solar light purchase is an insurmountable barrier. But if we can enable that family to pay that $100 over time through affordable weekly payments of only $1 each, we can make these products affordable to so many more people. This pay-as-you-go model enables us to sell these life-changing products for a low down payment, which anyone with only cash under a mattress can immediately afford. Then the remaining payments are collected over time until the device is fully paid off. Pay-as-you-go can make solar energy cheaper than kerosene on a weekly basis, and entirely free once that product is paid off. Solar can become a no-brainer. Now, offering a $100 product on credit to some very carefully selected individuals should work, especially if the lender knows the borrower and has a record of their credit risk. But over two billion people on the planet have no formal financial track record. So, how can lenders confidently extend this type of credit at that global scale? A challenge this great. Demands that we understand the unique realities of this consumer base, because we can't assess credit risk using the same data variables that a credit agency might use in the U.S. A typical unbanked, off-grid family living in an emerging market likely has no collateral, 
no fixed address, no steady income, no official digital identity, and really no real track record of their financial history. So we either have to figure out a way to confidently assume the risk of providing credit to someone without a credit score, or we have to figure out an alternative way to assess credit risk in the first place. My company, Angaza, has developed a way to address this problem. We embed metering technology inside of electronic products like solar home systems, and we use alternative credit scoring methods to effectively assess an unbanked borrower's risk level. And with this combination, we've already enabled millions of people to access solar energy products that they'd be unable to buy outright. For electronic products like solar home systems, embedded metering technology enables the device to turn on or off based on the user's payment status. The product simply won't work if the user hasn't prepaid for their week of solar. This metering technology ensures payment and is the first step towards securing credit. We work with manufacturers to embed this metering technology into a range of products, so distributors across the globe can confidently extend these solar loans to unbanked individuals. In addition to this metering technology, we also seek to assess credit risk when no credit score exists. To do this, we consider a range of factors of this rural consumer base that might signal low credit risk, such as the type of crop that they grow, the material that their house is built from, their mobile airtime usage, or even their ownership of other products. The beauty of this model, the combination of embedded metering technology and alternative credit assessment, is twofold. It enables us to accelerate access to life-changing energy products, albeit likely for only a small initial loan. But over time, we can build a digital credit profile for that individual. Because they're making frequent payments for their solar light, and this digital credit profile only strengthens in accuracy as we collect additional data points and start to learn more about that individual's payment patterns. So, for example, what time of day do they pay? Do they pay in small, frequent amounts, or larger, less frequent amounts? All these characteristics can be used to better understand this rural consumer base. And increase access to modern financial services. The process of purchasing a solar home system over time may be just as important as eventually owning one, because the consumer gets to build a credit profile as they make frequent payments for their solar lights. And by making frequent payments, they get access to larger loans for larger purchases in the future. Pay as you go is accelerating access to purchasing power never before experienced by this unbanked population. To effectively tackle poverty at a global scale, we must not solely focus on increasing the amount of money that people earn. We must also increase or expand the power of their income through access to savings and credit. Thank you. So, I mean, it's. It's pretty exciting what's what's happening out there. I mean, when、uh, my wife Jacqueline and I toured some of these these projects, seeing the pride that people have in their own, you know, solar home systems was was amazing to me. And there was almost like a sort of an eyeball rolling from some of them at people who would want to connect to the grid. Why would you want to do that and pay, have a wire connected to your home that will be a bill for the rest of your life? You know, we're going to own our electricity. I mean, do, are you are you sensing that sort of feeling of leapfrog is is going on? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, leapfrog is the exact word.、Um, if you look at what happened in the U.S., you, governments and utilities spent all this money to invest in very expensive infrastructure, and now you look at developing countries that are totally leapfrogging that. Solar energy makes a ton of sense. It's less expensive, much cleaner, much cheaper to deploy.、Um, so you're seeing it take off in ways that the U.S. will never experience. And your company is showing that people can turn that energy to. Generating device into a capital generating device for their next loan. Absolutely, as they build their credit scores. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's really cool. Thank you、yeah. so much for, Thank you. for sharing. <laughs> Thank you.